glad you joined us today on Cooking with Dave, the Lutheran Cook. And today I'm fixing up a meatloaf and doing a, some baked potatoes. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. And I'm getting the potatoes ready here as I get ready to finish up my meatloaf here. So let me just throw these in the oven here. Oh, that's a nice warm oven. All right. Uh, December 9th today and it's a very chilly day outside here it's about 32 degrees and we've had our first snow flurries today so kind of excited about that seeing some snow down here in Bowling Green Kentucky so now that I've got my potatoes in the oven I'm gonna finish up and in this bowl here I have um, four slices of bread that I'm just breaking up into little pieces so let me finish up this last piece of bread here I just had to stop a minute and put in the um, potatoes into the oven. So now to this bread, I'm adding 15 ounces of tomato sauce. Now before I continue, I should just kind of show you, this is the cookbook I'm using for this recipe. It's Betty Crocker's Cookbook for Boys and Girls. And this is a book that my wife got. I think she was in third grade. It's got a copyright of 1959 in it. So this book is about 60 years old. And so we still use it today for making many of our recipes. And today I am using it to make our meatloaf recipe. So here's the meatloaf recipe right there that I will be using today as we do our cooking with Dave. I have to learn how to stoop down for the camera and stuff. Um, as we're doing this. So now, to that, I put in my 15 ounces of tomato sauce. Let me just finish draining this out a little bit more. And I'm just going to set that in there like that so that all that tomato sauce will drain out of it. Now, to this I'm going to add, this is a half of an onion, half of a sweet onion, so I'm going to add that into here. into my bread and tomato mixture. Two eggs I'm going to put in here. So there's one egg and two eggs. This is one of our favorite recipes that we make all the time. Okay, that's pretty much drained out of there. So now I'm just going to kind of combine this together in this bowl. And it looks kind of soupy. The bread is um, picking up a lot of that tomato sauce that I put in here. So, there we go. Okay, now to this I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of salt. So I got my teaspoon measure here. So I'm going to put in one. And then that's about a half. There we go. Alright. Now, with this recipe, the recipe in the uh, cookbook I showed you calls for one cup of milk. Uh, but we make a lot of our recipes without using milk because my wife is lactose intolerant. So this one we put in 15 ounces of tomato sauce instead, which adds a little bit more flavor to our meatloaf. Now that that's all mixed up in there, I'm going to grab my ground chuck from here. It's a little less than three pounds because I used about a quarter pound of it for making my potato breakfast this morning. So here we go. I'm just going to break this ground beef, ground chuck, up into my mixing bowl here. I had the grandkids over today and um, I'm still suffering with my rotator cuff. I don't have my sling on right now, but I'm not able to pick anything up with this arm and that's about as high up as it'll go right now without too much pain. So we had our son over here to help us get the Christmas decorations down out of the attic, the tree, the ornaments, the lights, outside decorations. And so he was over here and we had the grandkids here today too. And it's always a joy to have the grandkids coming over and visiting with us. Um, so today, um, Kaylee is learning how to talk and she has a favorite book she likes. It's an animal book. It's about, oh, probably 11 by eight and a half pages in the book. And it just has pictures of the animals. So she'll open it up and she'll point to an animal and I will say cow. 
and then I'll go moo and she looks at me and she goes she doesn't say it yet but she's learning how to move her mouth or she'll point to the dog and I'll go arf 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 and she moves her mouth like she's trying to say it but it's not coming out yet but she's coming along pretty good so enjoy having her over and helping her learn how to talk uh, Bailey was over today also and I'm teaching her how to play chess the other day we played chess and he beat me I could not believe it he made his move he sat back put his arms behind his head and said checkmate and I looked around the board he was right it was checkmate so we played a game today and I got my little bit of revenge on him by checkmating him he wasn't too happy but you know you got to learn to take the good with the bad you got to learn I got I need a different bowl here so let me pull out this bowl from here because this one isn't quite big enough so I'm just gonna dump all that this stuff into this bigger bowl I forgot that this is the bowl I use when I make meatloaf instead of the smaller one let me just put that over in the sink uh, I see some ground beef on the side here and we're about finished here so that was Bailey then Alexis was over today too and when Bailey and I were playing chess she was kind of disappointed that she's not able to play chess yet she's only in kindergarten but I'll probably start teaching her pretty soon how to play chess maybe start with checkers so Leroy pulled out the dominoes and they had a fun time playing dominoes together. So it's just a great time having the grandkids over today and they had to leave so now I'm making supper for us. Okay there we go I got all the ground beef in here now I'm just gonna stir it all up by hand to mix everything together. And it takes a little while to do this so there we go. You know, there's uh, different variations for the meatloaf here. Uh, the recipe calls for one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, or however you say that sauce's name. Um, I like having it in here, but my wife doesn't care for the flavor of it, so uh, we really don't need it, so I don't put it in for her sake, because she doesn't like it. And we don't all have to like everything. So I got the baked potatoes in the oven, they're going already. They just need a little head start on the meatloaf. Um, favorite thing to have along with this is corn, so we'll probably put in a can of corn with this. Okay, now let me just go wash off my hands here. Took a little while to get all that off of there. Now, here's how that meatloaf mixture looks after putting it together there. So now we're going to put it into this pan, our pan we use for making meatloaf. Let me just scrape everything else out of here. There we go. And just form it into a loaf. So here it is. All formed into the loaf. And while I'm doing this, I'm just going to mention that I have something special coming up that I can't tell you right now what it is. But... I continue to work on it and when it's ready I will let everybody know in one of my cooking videos there we go all right now there's the meatloaf all formed together in the pan now let me just let it slide back a little bit and we're gonna put this in the oven and it's gonna bake for about an hour so right now it's 405 so this will be ready about five o'clock so this is another episode of cooking with dave the lutheran cook and with that i bid you a fond farewell